Well, good Friday morning, my friends. Almost Saturday again. I swear this week went by like that. And now that we have company, it seems like it's going by even faster because, you know, it sort of gives me more chores to do. So, the guys are going to town today. Um, Jerry's brother worked with him yesterday pulling um, trees out around our pond. There's these trees that grow in there that just, I don't know, they come in by the birds or something, and they're bad for your dam, you know. And so his brother helped him tie chains around these trees, and Jerry had his dozer, and they pulled all the trees out. And so Don worked yesterday. He hasn't been able to sleep. He goes, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. He slept 14 hours last night, my friends. 14 hours. I had him laughing a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just, it's just heartwarming. Uh, I think that he could really, really improve if he can stay off the cigarettes and if we can get him happy. You know, a cheerful heart doeth good like a medicine. Depression is, is very, very hard on your body. So, we'll try to get him cheerful. So he can feel a lot better for a lot longer. All right, I don't have my contact in today, so I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Like I said, we have another guest this morning, so I'm like cooking bacon and eggs and toast and jam. And <laughs> I'm out of my normal routine. Okay, March 19, Matthew 9, 4 is the scripture today. Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? Wow. Wow. That's pretty easy to understand. Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? Be careful what you think. Oh, so, so important. What does it mean to entertain evil thoughts? It means allowing your mind and heart to focus on things that are not honorable to God. It means you choose to think about things that pull you away from God things that are immoral, things that destroy other people, things that are unkind. Sinful thoughts lead to sinful actions. There's a big duh. Sinful thoughts lead to sinful actions. The Bible tells us to guard our hearts because Satan gets into our lives through hearts that are not guarded. Mm. I'm too, oh. Let's finish. You know, these, these daily devotionals, they just set my mind to going and my mouth to talking. The Bible tells us to guard our hearts because Satan gets into our lives through hearts that are not guarded. Choose to keep your heart focused on God, His love for you, and the truths of the Bible. Then there will be no room for evil thoughts. Oh my goodness. Oh, I used to tell my kids and my grandkids, don't let Satan in at all, ever. Don't give him an inch. Don't give him a millimeter. Don't give him a micrometer. Don't give him any space at all in your life because he will just rush into it with all his devils and his demons. And next thing you know, you'll be overwhelmed in a sinful life. And have I seen this happen? Of course, of course. We all have. Um, one of you said in a comment yesterday, you're being a bit judgmental. <gasps> oh, no, 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 you got that so wrong. You got that so wrong. I'm not being a bit judgmental. I'm being extremely judgmental. And I think everybody, everybody needs to be extremely judgmental. I think that that going down through the years, you better not judge, you better not judge, you better not judge. That's what's gotten America in the shape it's in right now. Don't tell somebody they're a sinner. Don't tell somebody it's wrong to do that. Don't make them feel bad. Just be kind. Just love them. Don't ever tell them the truth. You got the wrong lady here, my friends. You got the wrong lady here. If you're looking for an enabler, you don't want to come to Jerry and my house. Is that how you say it? Jerry and my house? The house of Jerry and me? <laughs> There's no enablers here. Jerry used to be. Jerry used to be, but after he married me, he figured out that what he was doing was wrong and it wasn't helping either brother. The mother was an extreme enabler. Extreme. I'm not going to let my son die under some railroad track. 
Yeah. So, yes. In fact, I wrote down the definition of judgment this morning. You know what? You want to know what judgment really means? It means being able to look at a situation and decipher how to come out with the best solution for it. Judgment. It's not a bad thing, my friends. It's a good thing. I'm not God. I can't judge his heart. I know that. But I can compare his actions to what the Bible says and what we've been reading in this devotional book every day since January 1, <laughs> whenever I started it. People don't know, my friends. People don't know there's a hell. They don't know there's a devil. They've used so many drugs, smoked so much pot, and so many cigarettes, and so many other drugs that are still illegal, thank God, um, th that their minds just don't work right. And they have got to be woken up. They have got to be woken up. I just was telling Don a minute ago, I said, you need to learn to praise the Lord, Donnie. Tell him how much you love him. Just say, I love you, Jesus. He said, what? I said, yeah. He said, why? Why does that matter? I said, the Bible says that Jesus inhabits the praises of his people. Now, he's, ha he's about as deaf as a stone. He, he was in a band, a rock band, with the really, really, really loud music, so we can hardly hear a thing. And so I said, Jesus inhabits the praises of his people. And he said, what do you mean he inhabits crazy people? <laughs> So anyway, uh, we have a good feeling. He's, you know, he was here nine days last time, and um, this is day, this day three now. I think this is day three, and he slept last night, and he didn't have to. He, you know, he's afraid of electricity and cell phones and all that stuff. Uh, so he slept last night and didn't turn off, didn't turn off the electric bed, didn't unplug the lamps, didn't. Um, Put his well his cell phone doesn't even work so i don't know why he has one but anyway he's just he's afraid of all things electrical and um he slept 14 hours and jerry said this morning he said did you unplug the bed dog no did you unplug the lamps no and you slept 14 hours huh ah yes okay my dear ones i love you all so much i'm praying for you for the dear lady that said she's having a hard time trusting god after so many years with her son being an addict we have one too. We have one too. Um, you know, the one that's here, and then there's one in my family. And um, we're never going to quit trusting God. That's our only hope. Don't quit praying. Don't quit trusting. Don't let the devil stop you from trusting and believing and counting on God. It's our only hope. Oh, before I say goodbye, I just came back because I thought of something else. For the lady that's that's so heartbroken over her son go to my store my amazon store or just go to amazon and buy mike lindell's book mike lindell the pillow man the my pillow man mike lindell read his book it will encourage you so so much okay end of this little insert all right my dearest i'm gonna let you go for today i will be back tomorrow